have a better stress management is build meaningful relationships so what does it mean so we are we human beings are made to interact and connect with other people but without meaningful relationships we always feel lonely and isolated that that is one of the major reasons for many people to be stressed with long term uh, effects so we are happier when we pursue happiness with others and uh, find the right people to connect with and uh, hang out with happy people because emotions are always contagious and they spread from one person to another so finding a right association with right kind of people is very very important to have a stress free life and being healthy and happy the third tip is going to be imperfections accept imperfections so most of us either strive for perfections within us or from the people around us that will always end us with a lot of disappointment and lot of sad feeling which will in turn causes lot of stress and this if that expectation is within us then we continue to be uh, feeling let down for long term leading to long term stress issues so the we all know that perfection is completely not possible and it is a myth so if you want to be truly happy then start accepting the way you are that doesn't mean that you should not strive for something better but it also means to understand your capabilities and your uh, skills and not comparing yourself with other people so the minute we start comparing ourselves with others each one skills and challenges might be different and each one capability to handle the situation and stress might be different and each one's performance level and knowledge level may also vary so here we are unnecessarily creating stress for ourselves and for people around us so this will uh, give you a lot of uh, imbalance in life and put you through a lot of negative emotions where we start it will start affecting your uh, behavioral and emotional conditions and to name a few social media has a way of making us feel like everyone else has it better than us so how often does scrolling through a news feed will make you feel that everybody is traveling around the world except you or everybody is having a happy time except you so try to restrict yourself uh, from the social media especially when you are feeling little low in your emotions so that is one simple way of uh, avoiding long term stress so the next going uh, tip that is fourth tip is going to be find your work life balance so most of us work all day long and there's no other time left for anything else around you but it shouldn't be the only thing that we do that is work so the, uh, it is more important to pursue other activities and interests beyond your job so let me ask you a question do you have a hobby are you spending time with your friends and family are you getting exercise for yourself are you creating a balance in your life this will reduce the stress and give you other outlets to express yourself and have fun so i am sure you need to ask these questions to yourself every day so that you have a healthy and happy life fifth to tip to stress management is cultivate gratitude so being in the rat race we hardly have time to spare to be thankful for what we have we always end up ignoring when we have something around us and we hardly value what we have within us or what we are always blessed with so when we develop this gratitude we start acknowledging and being thankful for what you have and it will make you feel good and this way you will be able to reduce your sadness anxiety and depression 
and this can be tangible or intangible things and when each day you start acknowledging uh, and being thankful for what you have you will start focusing on many more things which you are blessed with and being grateful for that and you can also uh, develop your own affirmations to keep your focus on the positive things around you uh, day in and day out uh, let me give you a few examples for affirmations uh, like you can always say i love myself i can do better than this rather than being more criticizing because the world is all around you to criticize at least you start appreciating yourself then expecting it from other people would put you through less stress compared to keeping yourself always expecting things from others and you can not only do that for yourself you can also start spreading the joy to other people so once you are happy you will be more uh, happier to give what you have and make other people as well happy and come out of the stress better and the sixth tip is going to be give back to the society so be generous with your time and money when giving back to the society that you have taken so much so when i say give back to the society it is not limited to only money so there are other ways where you can give back to the society by uh, knowledge sharing or guiding people who are in need or sharing your resources that you are already blessed with or you can also be uh, you know uh, doing services with whatever skills you are good at so these are few other things which we can look out for when you are giving back to the society and those who are generous in giving back to others tend to have a good health maybe it is just because the feel good factor that you have uh, when you give it to the other people without any expectation from them and this will also help lower blood pressure and stress in each individual so the seven tip for stress management is going to be spend time in nature either with yourself or with your loved ones so studies have shown that the more time we spend in nature and the more we relate to nature in its own form the greater our sense of happiness so this will also help uh to keep you in a good mental health the self time will help you introspect and understand yourself better so spend as much time as you can with yourself so that way the more you know yourself better there is going to be less stress on yourself to expect something which is not in your control so the last that is eight tip to have a better stress management is going to be listen to and engage with music so listening to music uplifts lifts our spirits it makes us feel better and in part because listening to music causes our brain to release dopamine a neurochemical connected to pleasure and reward so those who engage with music either through dancing or uh, you know soothing music that you can sit at home and listen will have a impact on your level of happiness and sense of well being so now that we have discussed all the tips you need to even also focus on the, that the stress level that you are going going through at that point of time will decide how much you eat what you eat and when you eat and this as well applies to the amount of sleep that you get and the amount of workout that you get so please note consistency is must here so making an effort to apply all the tips that are discussed so far in every day life in every minute of your day because we always come across stress day in and day out and this is going to make you have a life which is more healthy and happy for sure so thank you so much for your time see you soon